Okay, we have an interesting integral here today. This one's from the UK integration B sample problem number six. We have the integral from zero to one, natural log one minus x over x dx. Okay, when I first did this, I was really wishing we had, if this was just x, we're all set up for our u substitution. I don't think it converges with the bounds, but it's some nice wishful thinking. But anyway, we need some way to deal with the fact, I mean, this is kind of hard to deal with what we have it here. But the thing to notice is this numerator right here, we can actually relate this back to a geometric series. We have our geometric series formula for just we, like the one minus X. If we look at one over one minus X, assuming that the absolute value of X is less than one in order for this to converge, this is actually the same thing as the sum from N equal to zero to infinity of X to the N. But then what I can do on this is actually just kind of integrate on both sides of this. When I do that, we're gonna get back this. Well, there's gonna be a minus sign, but when you integrate this, you actually get minus natural log. I'm gonna drop the absolute value because we already determined we're less than one here. So this is just gonna be parentheses. And then doing this over here, when we integrate this with power rule, we're still gonna have this summation. And then this is just gonna become X to the N plus one over N plus one. And of course, we're gonna need a plus C on this thing. So let me make it clear that the plus C is not part of the sum. And one other thing I need to do is, let's bring this minus sign on the other side. I should have given myself more space, but we're gonna have a minus sign right here. But now we'd like to know what this plus C value is gonna be, because we don't really want that as part of our problem. We've got a definite integral. Well, that's gonna be pretty easy to deal with just because we have some known values of the function on the left. Because we know our x equal to zero value, when we have x equal to zero, natural log a one, so on this left side here, we're just gonna have zero. But then when you do that, this piece here, if you have zero on x, then this whole thing is zero as well. So we have an equation, zero equals zero plus c, which means that our c value is just zero. So what we can do is just remove our plus c, take this value right here, plug it in for our natural log one minus x, and see what we can do to integrate this thing. But now from here, I still have this one over X in front to worry about. Now, inside the sum, X, there's no dependency on N. So what I can do is I can actually just multiply this in here, which is essentially dividing and I combine it with this here. So if we divide, so if we multiply in one over X times X N plus one, X power properties, I can just remove this plus one. Now we have X to the N here. And then from here, what I wanna do is I wanna just do an index change. I can get this to start at n equals to one. So we're adding one here, right? We're adding one into zero. The way you can do this quickly in your head is if we're adding one here, we subtract one here. So if I subtract off one here, subtract off one here, well, this piece right here becomes a zero when you just have n. But then for this sum, if we expanded it out, this is just a polynomial, nothing complicated is going on. So I'm gonna switch. So I'm gonna switch the sum with the integral, bring the summation out front of this. And then we can just integrate this, which is just gonna be power rule. So let's see how this all looks. We're gonna have integral from zero to one, x n minus one over n, and we can just go ahead and integrate. So when we do this, adding a plus one on the exponent here, this is gonna become x to the n, and then divide by the n times this n is gonna give me an n squared here. We just need to evaluate this from zero to one. But then when we evaluate at zero, this is clearly just gonna be zero. We plug a one in here, doesn't matter what the exponent is now, one to the n, that's just gonna be one over n squared. And just now I'm realizing I forgot the minus sign from the previous board, so really what we should have from that original when we turned this into a sum, there was a minus, 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 minus. But then to finish this off, this here is a really well-known sum. This here is actually the Basel problem. So for this, we just have a well-known value. It's just pi squared over six. So putting it all together for my final solution of this, we just get minus pi squared over six. Okay, there you have it. Another good one from the UK Integration B. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.